arithmetic if statement this statement is used for conditional transfer of control control is transferred based on value of an arithmetic expression so there are two important things this is a conditional transfer of control statements and the conditional transfer is based on value of arithmetic expression the diagram um, diagram here shows how this statement works so this is the inlet here we have shown some arithmetic expression a so if value of this expression is less than 0 then this path is followed this is what it shows here if a is less than 0 this path is followed Otherwise, if A is equal to 0, this path will be followed. And if A is greater than 0, this path will be followed. So, there are three possible, possible outlets, one inlet. This is an old style statement and therefore this is non-structured. The syntax of arithmetic if statement is like this. We write reserve or keywords if followed by parenthesis which contains arithmetic expression. And then we list three statement numbers. These statement numbers need not be unique. You can repeat a statement number if it is required. So AE is an arithmetic expression and these are statement numbers. If value of AE is less than 0, control will be transferred to statement with statement number N1. If A is equal to 0, control will be transferred to this statement and if a is greater than 0 control will be transferred to this statement so this is what it is what is shown here so this is the diagrammatic representation of arithmetic if and this is the syntax this is the working of arithmetic if so these are the steps first a is evaluated a is arithmetic expression and then based on value of arithmetic expression control is transferred to one of the three statement numbers So here, I have shown a flowchart for calculating roots of quadratic equation. So first step is accepting data, that is values of the coefficients of the quadratic equation, A, B, C. After that we calculate D, which is a temporary variable for calculating B square minus 4AC, or storing values of value of B square minus 4AC. D, E is another temporary variable which calculates value of this expression, sorry, which stores value of this expression to A. Uh, we have used temporary expressions for, uh, let's say, minimizing size of the expression for calculating roots. After this, based on value of D, control will be transferred to this part, this part, or this part. If D is less than 0, then this path will be followed. In case D is equal to 0, this path is followed. In case d is greater than 0, this path will be followed. So when d is less than 0, we know that b square is less than 4ac and therefore value of d is negative and we cannot calculate square root of this term and that, that means roots are imaginary. So we display this message, roots are imaginary and then stop working. If d is equal to 0, <coughs> we get only one root. So we have calculated root here and displayed message accordingly. We have displayed unique root and then we have displayed value of x. Otherwise, we get two roots. So we have calculated roots here. So this equation is wrong. It should have been dr equal to square root of d. After that, we calculate value of x1 and calculate value of x2 using these two equations. And then we display this message followed by values of roots. So this flowchart is drawn in such a fashion that this is suitable for using arithmetic if. Important thing is flowchart is just a guideline and it can be used in any language. Another important thing is we can draw flowchart in a different fashion depending on your requirement. So here I have drawn flowchart which is suitable for using arithmetic if. Let's move to the program. So this program demonstrates how to use arithmetic if statement. Same flowchart now the program. So first we display message program to calculate roots of a quadratic equation. After that, we display this message, enter roots, sorry, enter coefficients. Accept coefficient, value, accept value of ABC, calculate D, calculate DE. So, if you wish to go back to the flowchart, input coefficients, calculate D, calculate DE. 
after that you get this arithmetic if so you get arithmetic if here if d and then 100 200 300 so this is arithmetic expression first statement number n1 as in syntax n2 n3 we know that if this is less than zero control is transferred to statement with this number so here you can say see that there is a statement which displays this message roots are imaginary when d is less than zero roots are imaginary so we display this message and then nothing else is required to be executed and therefore we stop working if d is equal to zero control is transferred to statement with this number so it will come to this point it will calculate value of x using this equation minus b divided by de d is two times a it will display value of x and the message and then stop working otherwise that is if d is greater than zero control is transferred to this this part is executed calculates dr which is square root of d calculates x1 x2 and then displays this message followed by values of x1 and x2 because of these stop statement this stop statement will terminate the program here so that means if control is transferred to this statement this is executed and after that program terminates if this statement is omitted then this statement will also be executed this is something which we don't want and therefore we have to write stop here stop here so this program calculates roots using arithmetic if statement now let us execute a program which demonstrates arithmetic if statement so here i have written program a small program which demonstrates usage of arithmetic if so this program accepts two values x and y if x is less than y x minus y will be negative and therefore control will be transferred to statement with statement number 100 so it displays this message x is smaller than y if x is equal to y x minus y will be equal to 0 so control will be transferred to this statement it displays x is equal to y if x is greater than y then x minus y will be greater than 0 control will be transferred to this and this will display this message so let's try to execute this program save press it enter any two values so I'll type 12.59 so here x is greater than y so value of the arithmetic expression will be positive that it will be greater than 0 so control will be transferred accordingly so I'll press enter it says x is greater than y so let us find out how the program was executed So I have entered two values 12.59. So first value belongs to x, next value belongs to y. So 12.5 minus 9 uh, result is positive. So a positive value will transfer control to statement number 300. So it comes to this and displays this message x is greater than y. Now you can terminate this program. Now let us execute it again. I will enter two values which are equal. Let us say 56.4 and 56.4. So it displays x equal to y because x minus y being x being equal to y, x minus y is 0 and control is transferred to 200. And this message was displayed. So this is how this program works. So this is end of lesson.